Hello, my name is Gary Buck. I'm here at Trinity Oaks and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my testimony. Um, I've been a member of Trinity Lutheran Church for 39 years um, and I've been married to my wife for 20 years. We've been going to Trinity for quite a while. Um, started going to Trinity Lutheran Church when we were dating and um, we have two wonderful children. Um, we were married in Trinity Lutheran Church. All well, the kids were baptized there, and um, uh, Mallory and Lauren both went to Baton Rouge Lutheran Schools. Probably one of the, the, the greatest things that, that we have done, or uh, when I say greatest things, probably one of the, the, smartest, the smartest decisions to, bring, to let them go there, because it, it, it truly it has been a blessing for them to go there. Um, I am so proud of my children. Um, not for anything that, that we've done, uh, probably not for anything they've done, just for, for, for what God's done in their lives and what they've learned through Baton Rouge Lutheran School. And got to give a shout out to, to Gordon for being such a wonderful principal. Um, he, he, he's a wonderful man. Um, and so uh, as I was contemplating, um, you know, giving my testimony, I did a lot of praying and reflecting and um, uh, I, I was uh, thinking, um, you know, what, what do I say? Uh, um, what, what, what do I say? And then I had a devotion that morning, and the devotion uh, was, was God was telling me to, to talk about um, the future, you know, um, not the past, uh, I, and, and what the future brings, and that we all need to um, be ready for the future. So... Um, that's what I'm here to talk to you about. Being here and, and looking around in this wonderful full place, I, there's so much room to grow here. Um, uh, I, I could I could picture in my mind the the, the beautiful buildings, um, but more important than that, I can picture all the, the people that we could bring cro closer to Christ um, here. Uh, and uh, I think that that uh, as a congregation. Um, uh, a part of our duty is to take action, um, to do something, to bear fruit. And that's what we need to do. We need to bear fruit. Uh, I'm so fired up. Uh, I'm so excited about the things that we can do. Uh, and we can do all things through Christ. We, we really can. And, and God's will will come through with all this. Um, I, I went to a meeting the other day, or it was a, a missional community meeting, and uh, it, 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 the people there, they were, they were talking about um, the, this capital campaign coming up and some of the, the personal sacrifices they were going to make, uh, and it was amazing. They, they were, they were, and it wasn't for their personal, uh, um, uh, I, I don't even know how to say it, it wasn't for them being lifted up personally it was for it was for God and 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 what what it would um, mean for them to to do this I mean it uh, for what they how how the sacrifice that they made uh, I, I just am so excited about how much closer to God that they will come uh, and I think that's true with everybody I think if we um, can make that personal sacrifice uh, how, how wonderful it will be and um, uh, in, in 50 years, we, we need to le leave a legacy here, and we need to uh, have a, a, a beautiful church here and a beautiful church, um, you know, other places. We need to do that. And I think if God is for us, um, then there's nothing that can stop us from doing these things. We can, we can probably store up quite a bit of uh, treasures in heaven just... Um, just looking inward uh, and it's not about money um, it, it, it's about what God um, has done for us and and it's about our faith uh, it's about God testing our faith we need to um, just just be faithful and uh, take action thank you and God bless you